Hey clean coders, in this video we're gonna see how to simplify conditionals so that they're super easy to understand. Let's jump in. So this is code in node. We have this duck class and the duck class has this method ensure beautiful which makes sure that the duck is beautiful. So we have all this garbage and don't even read it. Um, don't read it, just let's just refactor it and by refactoring it, we'll see how to simplify conditionals. So we're gonna start by, we have this if not beautiful, blah, blah, blah. So let's make this positive and say, if it's already beautiful, return. So first idea, we don't like indentation. Indentation makes things more complicated. So next thing we have if if it doesn't have any makeup, the duck is that doesn't have makeup, then we do na 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 na. Otherwise we do this. So we want to do this thing, which takes only one line of code. We want to do it first. The less lines of code first is the better one. Also, this happens to be a negative condition, but. Um, it's also just to have less lines of code done first. So this looks better, but we can still remove the indentation by returning early. And now by doing this, the code is somewhat readable. So let's see, if the duck is beautiful, we stop, makes sense. If it has makeup, it wears the makeup and then we stop. Uh, if it didn't have the makeup, then it goes shopping. And if it has money, it buys makeup and it buys a suit because it's already in the market or whatever. And otherwise it goes to make money and it calls and show beautiful recursively. Awesome. So the key points are, we want to remove indentation. We prefer um, positive conditions and we, we want to handle the, the simple case, all the case that takes less lines of code first. Um, that's what, what it's all about. And let's see the next thing. So the next thing, um, what is it? We have this function, American grade, it converts um, a European grade to an American grade. Cool. So this kind of sucks. Why does it suck? Because really we can just return early. There's no reason why not to return early in such a function. Now, um, when does returning early, when is it dangerous or not advised? Well, it's only not advised when you have a function that doesn't only return a value, it's not only a query function, or it's not only a state function that changes state, but it's doing both. So in these types of cases, then returning early could be dangerous, but ideally you shouldn't have such functions. Your function should either be a command, change state, or there should be queries and then they return a value. So <clears throat> generally um, returning early is always fine. There's nothing dangerous about it and it's fine. So our first effector is just to return early and we can do it like so. Yay. Um, what else? Well, there's no real reason why we need this else statements because if I return then I return if I didn't then then I'm in the if so ah, whoops yeah also this is also redundant so we don't need this whoops cool so if you don't need all of that um, do we really care for the curly brackets I think we don't Cool. 
and I'm going to put my personal opinion that if you have short lines and you can even do this Oops. and it looks pretty good yeah so this code is shorter and I believe it's more readable than the first version in orders of magnitude so this this is basically remove else's you don't need them and return early so next one is pretty cool next one is this one so i don't want to tell you what it is i want you to look at this code which is weird and ask yourself <laughs> why is it so weird well, um, 18 is smaller than age. Then we have this country codes, and one of them is equal to the country code. And then we have this flag expected is equal to flag given. What is weird about this code? Why is it weird? Well, it's weird because of this stupid space. No, no, it's not really. Uh, the reason, the reason is because it's right to left and not left to right. So. What do I mean? I mean, it's literally right to left, not left to right. So if it would be left to right, like this, age is bigger than 18. Makes sense in English. Our country code is equals to one of those country codes. Then it would make more, much more sense. Um, flag given is equals to the flag expected. Makes more sense than saying the opposite. So that makes it much more simpler. Um, Another thing to note is, well, there's no real myth method equals one of, but um, many times it's important to extract your conditionals to methods. Uh, here it could be, um, is Scandinavian country code, for an example, it could be, you can extract the method like so. Uh, but the general point here in this part of the video was just to say, um, left to right is better than right to left and this happens sometimes in conditionals where people write them right to left so pay attention to that um that's all i'm gonna say today about conditionals i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please click the like button the subscribe button and comment below if you have any questions or you want to add more things to this topic which would be awesome uh, then please do so. Uh, until next time.